That's me. And that's my best mate, Stevie. We grew up together. We just sort of stuck. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of shit goes down in a town like this. Everyone knows your name and your story. You have to watch each other's backs. This town's a shithole. A dead end. But it's our shithole. <laughs> I think I always knew everything was going to end before it even started. It was like I was sat waiting for it to unfold. A town like this consumes you. It eats you whole, like it's very unsurf opera. You've got to find your people and keep them close. Tilly, over here! I'm scared of the human mind, the things it can make us do, the things it can make us see. This all started out small, fake accounts, nonchalant comments, and then it grew. It grew like an infection. Four years ago, I met the individual that would stalk me to date. This is how it went down. How did I become the prey? How can I reverse it? You gonna tell me what's wrong? I think I'm being stalked online. What do you mean? I think I'm being stalked online. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. So who's your stalker? How am I supposed to know that? You just be overreacting. Yeah, I'm overreacting. You do like attention. <laughs> yeah, I'm overreacting. Love it. Love being stalked. What are you looking at? Fuck. Everyone knows everything about everyone. I won't be bothered. And now everyone knows a fuckload about me. What's wrong about that? If this were you, we'd all fucking know about it. Whatever, Steve, I'm going. See you. Silence is now my safe place, but patience was never my virtue. I think I started to realise right in that moment that I was truly alone. Social media has turned us into a society of stalkers. And unfortunately, the target's on my head now. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, February, March 2016, 17, 18, 2019. When will it stop? No one should have to live in fear. No one should only exist to glance at what's over their shoulder. The simplicity of this town has been tainted and overshadowed by the knot in my stomach that screams, look behind you. None of us believe it, you know. I appreciate that, Steve, but I reckon this fucking town believes him. You're just too obsessed. Obsessed? How am I obsessed? This is my life. Please report it. I'm sorry, but the moment I report it, I'm getting too involved. You're supposed to be my best mate. Whatever. You need me, Tilly. All I needed was for someone to help someone to stand up next to me. I'm alone. I 
I'm so fucking alone in this deep pile of shit, day after wretched day, and it never ends. Do you ever feel uncomfortable? On edge? Like someone's watching you? Like someone's listening to you? Following you? Eating up your every fibre? I do. I've created my very own comfort zone that I reside in within my darkest hours. I knew right in that moment that I had to leave this town to become everything that I could ever be. I'd have stood here forever if I believed that I could have ever felt the way that I once did. And no matter how enticing that sounds, it's brittle lies. I don't trust anyone anymore. I'm leaving, Steve. What's that supposed to mean? I'm leaving here. I can't stay here anymore. Can't let him win. What he's done, it's... It's ruined it, but I can't stay anymore. Yeah, but you'll believe in me. Look, I tried to get you to help and you wouldn't. Are you gonna help now? We've been here before. I just can't get involved. Is she really gonna let me leave? I got the tickets last week. Are you gonna go? I've gotta go, Steve. I've gotta go to the park. <sighs> Bitch. I love Stevie, but she's always been out for herself. I thought she'd help on this one. See you around, Steve. See you later. Love you, Steve. Love you, Tilly. Stevie never understood. She was harsh and she could be twisted. She only ever did what was best for her. Her opinions always shattered what she wanted from her life. It started to become apparent to me that it wasn't the stalking that had pushed me away. It was her too. My best friend. I knew I had to blossom in my darkest hour. Leaving empowered me. Escaping ensured that I'd become everything I always knew I could be. Did the stalking stop? Of course it didn't. But I changed. I'm not the prey anymore. You can change your cities, continents, friends, but sooner or later, your past will catch back up to you. It waits for you. A human has the license to break the boundaries in which another has placed before them. Dear Stalker, I'm talking to you now. You stole everything from me. You would have inhaled me whole. All this time you were waiting for a reply. A reaction, some destructive end. Well, here it is, because I'm not running anymore. I couldn't steal your power, but I could take back mine and remove all the obstacles that stood between us. Without me, you're nothing. Without me, you're empty words on a screen in your And after all, there's something bittersweet about all of this.